Hey everyone, so I'm finally here to talk about the TM Rose A6 Rings Planner that I got as a custom from VDS. Um, this arrived, I want to say, over a month ago now, roughly, um, and I ordered this on the 24th of January, so it was just at the five week custom mark that this shipped. Um, so yeah, actually it might have been yeah, it was like on the first week of March that I received this, so yeah, definitely a month ago. Um, but yes, this was unplanned in the leather because originally I was going to go for the Coolio brown um, on the outside and the palm on the inside with these configurations, but then <laughs> I remembered like way back in late 20. 19. I was on the waitlist for Rose, but I, I just, or was it mid-2019, and it just didn't happen. I, I kind of got a bit sidetracked with other things, but anyway. Um, so I went back and asked Petra about this leather, and she did have a waitlist for it. So if you're after this leather now, you're best to email Petra to get on it because it won't show up on the website. So that's the heads up. Um, but in terms of the color, it's a very, very pale pink. Um, it's basically a whitish pink. <laughs> Behind me, I do have my um, Parm here to compare for you guys. So when you compare it to Parm, you're like, oh, okay, it's definitely, it, it looks more white. <laughs> um, but if you take this away, of course, you do get that lovely hint. Um, of the pink, it's it's definitely pretty. Um, the leather, I would say, is sturdy. Um, in comparison, like to other leathers that I own, um, I do have my Lotus as with uh, with me as well. Um, to compare in color, um, but I'll do that at the end. Anyway, here are the two VDSs that I have. So these two are both customs. I didn't get the um Parm. Like now it's available as a touch me line, which is at a much more affordable cost and the configurations I particularly really like. Um, at the time I purchased the Parm back in 2018, this was a waitlist item. So it was quite a hefty um, amount that I had to get to this kind of customization. So these are kind of similar. Um, so I'm going to go through the customizations here since I did go over the customizations of my Parm in a previous video, so um, I'll also have that link down below. But for um, this one here, I'll also um, leave it in the description of what I did as a customization and I'll go through here um, of why I did certain things um, that I didn't, um, that I did do my palm, but I didn't do here. Um, so first up on this planner, um, this is the 25 millimeter um, silver rings custom for the senior size, the A6, um, as you would find on their website. Um, and this time I didn't widen this planner. Um, reason being is I'm used to being in a Giglio A6 companion now and their open planner width. Um, I just open flat is 30 centimeters wide whereas the like the standard for the uh, 25 millimeter senior rings their open flat width is 29.7 um it wasn't worth me paying an extra about 25 27 euros just to widen for that three millimeter it just wasn't worth it and um, so i just left it as it is and now with like the exact same stuff i had in my julio into this planner and um, you can't really notice the difference in width apart from like the pen stick the second pen sticking out slightly so um yeah for me it wasn't worth paying that extra bit and Honestly, once you're in this size, you're like, oh, okay. Um, but if you're used to chunking up your planner, you might want to consider widening um, because I've actually downsized the amount that I've put in my A6 rings since my Parm video back in the day. Um, so yeah, that's why this width is working out fine for me. Um, so yeah, so I didn't widen this planner in terms of the configurations I did do. Um, I added a chunkier strap um, I I just chose the chunkier strap option. <laughs> I asked Petra for that. And I also did the square corners because I really love the look. Um, 
I do love the curved look. I think it just depends on what mood you're in. But I think because I was in my Julio for quite some time, I got quite used to the corners. So yeah, that's the difference between the two there. Um, and then in terms of back pocket, yes, I did opt for a back pocket as well. Um, I just like the option of having it there, so I didn't mind adding it again. Um, in terms of the left interior pocket, um, I again opted for the higher bottom pocket here because normally it's about like that size um, and I don't really have much use for it but even now it's just like deco. Um, but because if you opt for a higher bottom pocket you need to pay for a cut of four car slots instead of five so keep that in mind. Um, I was okay with um, doing just paying the extra bit because I do want the higher pocket but I think for next time if I do a configuration um, a custom with VDS I think I'll try the smaller pocket again we'll see um, but yeah personal preference I do like the small pocket no, the higher pocket sorry um, so that's the configuration I did here then as you can see here this time I opted for a fly leaf as well um, with a pen loop um, I quite like the option of having two pen loops because one goes on a highlighter and one goes on your normal pen. Um, and the reason why I didn't add it onto the actual planner is because because it's a narrower width, I didn't know how it would handle it. So having it on a fly leaf, it was a bit easier to work with if I needed that pen loop or not um, because I could put a thinner pen in here and it wouldn't impact that much. Whereas if I had it on the planner, I didn't know how much it would impact the inserts and anyway it worked out better in my head don't know how I explain that well um, but anyway so that's what I did as a fly leaf so it's just a normal fly leaf with a pen loop in it no extra configurations on it then on the back I added the extra full height pocket there's two here normally you only get one Um, I only have one in my palm I wish I had two and um, because it was a wider width I could fit like a thin notebook at the back but that means one of the full heights were used um, but yeah here I just have it as an extra option of if I want to put certain stickers but separate them in their own little area it was just easier to find then I had it there as an option um, but yeah so that's what I did as the configurations um, so the width I kept the same and that's really it <laughs> um yeah so in terms of the leather texture what I went with I asked for the smoothest leather they had in the TM rows um Petra I can send you photos if you request it of seeing the different textures whether you want to see a smooth one and a texture one just to see which one you might prefer um but for this planner I did go for a smooth one absolutely love it. Um, I did get the question in the past of how does it compare with the palm leather um, as um, the palm has like a slight greyish tone on their pebbling. Um, the rose doesn't, not that I've noticed on my one, it's more, it's very just pinky based. Um, whereas if you look here you do get that slight greyish tone in the pebble. Um, but keep in mind the palm that I'm that I'm showing you guys now this was purchased in 2018 there might have been slight variations of leather batches since then um, so yeah keep that in mind when you see my one um, so yep that's hopefully you can see there that this planner is definitely wider um, this one open flat is um, 31 and a half centimeters I think um, it's the same width as a TM planner in the touch me line sorry um so that's what i compared it to um not on the listing where you just like add an extra cm I'm not really sure of that at all i did it via email i purchased both of these and their customizations through email i didn't do it through the website so um yeah that's one way of ordering you could do personally i prefer that because then i get my exact things like set out whereas if you're placing on a website and you're very highly into your customizations you might get things a bit crosswired and misunderstood so that's why I definitely prefer email but as you can see here the difference in strap um, and then here I did also before ordering the TM rose um, I asked Brittany from um, Carrots and Olives um, or Olives are blue 
I'll get I'll link her down below because I was like asking but Brittany because <laughs> she also has her custom VDS's where she widened and didn't widen and she also had Gelios to compare the width so I was like oh please tell me <laughs> um, so yeah that was really handy so thank you so much for that Brittany um, so as you can see here um, it does stick out a little bit more you definitely can chunk up the palm with the width that I have here but this one is kind of like limited to how it is now which I do prefer actually um, I've just gotten used to um, not chunking it as much as I used to so I've kept this set up pretty simple I'm not ready to show it to you guys yet because I'm a bit behind on it right now since jumping into my personal rings um, Julio Amica and um, this has been on the back but I know I'll be going back to ASICS because ASICS is still my love um, so yeah there's that um, if you want to see the inside comparison that I done um, you can see here, I didn't go for that secret pocket there. Um, here, so that's one thing I'm lacking, and the pen loop is not on the planner, it's on the fly leaf. Um, and then at the back, you see here that this one only has one slot, and this one definitely has two. So there's that. So yeah, that's um, the two planners there for color differences. I'll bring the Lotus. So here is a Lotus as a comparison. Not really sure how this light is holding up to it. Um, when you're comparing it here, the Lotus and the Parm are a bit um, like color wise, they kind of go together better. Whereas you could definitely tell the rose is definitely a lot lighter than the two of them. Um, in terms of durability of the leather, my TMs would definitely withstand it a lot better than the Apoca leather of Giglio. I find it, I find myself being quite protective of the Apoca leathers, um, but in terms of use, I think this one I would definitely baby more just due to the colour and the leather, um, but I do have my yellow Apoca leather in the A6 rings and after like three months use I didn't baby at all and I love that. Um, the characters that it's developed since then. So I think if I use this planner more, hopefully I'll be able to baby it less, but right now it's just my little precious one. And I also need to get back to a basic size, but yeah, that's for a later date <laughs> because I keep moving around. Um, I hope that helped in comparison of leathers. Um, oh, sorry, actually. In terms of tone, um, these two are cool toned. Well, actually, these two are quite neutral. This one, I say, is a bit more cool-toned. Um, but, yeah, I hope that helps. Just, like, showing you guys it in the light. Um, but, yeah, um, if I've missed anything, leave me a comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, but, yeah, again, I'll leave the configurations of this planner that I did um, in the description bar. But, um, I think, yeah... I hope I'd have answered everything that I got asked on Instagram um, in terms of why I didn't widen and does it. Um, actually, one thing I'll definitely confirm, it does work with A6 size inserts when it's not widened and it's just standard. It fits just fine. Again, just keep in mind, it is 29.7 centimeters open flat. It just means that your inserts are teeny tiny bit closer, but it's three millimeters that's the difference. If you're used to a Giglio, um the VDS custom unwidened 25mm rings, um, the sizing of it will work fine, honestly. So if that's what your concern is, do I widen, do I not? Personal preference, I don't think that extra 3mm will do too much of a difference unless you really do like to stuff that planner, then maybe an extra 5mm just to give yourself that leeway. Um, but yeah. There you go. It's so pretty. I do love the chunkier strap on the square corners, but in terms of pricing wise, depending on where you are, ooh, it was a bit of a hefty bit, but for me, I felt it was worth it in the end. So there you go. I am thinking of another custom, but that will have to be up much later down the line with how things are going right now. Yeah, much down the line. Um, but yeah, hope that helped guys, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.